best players in this conference. There's no question. And the thing you look at when you see these guys, you think about the three-point shot being the equalizer. Damian Lillard at the bottom there shoots 39% from the three-point line. Anthony Johnson shoots 46%. So you get to the big dance. You got guys who can shoot it like that. Look behind them. That time they found Hanson, but he missed a good look. Montana still looking for a field goal, still looking for a point. Almost four minutes in. Session for three. Montana not taking very good care of the ball, and usually they do that. They're not doing anything really that they normally do well. Oh, right on through there. Turnover okay. number nine. Huey with contact gets the bucket. Another timeout for Montana. And Wayne Tinkle's got to be thinking, what is going on? Lillard, MVP of the big sky. Ball screen. Tries to turn the corner. There's a shooter in the corner. Mahoney for three. A little bit off to the side, and it was all Weaver State in the first half here. The Star Watch update. Anthony Johnson did his part. Lillard wasn't even a huge part of it for Weaver State, and yet it's been all Wildcats here. The score at the half. Weaver State 40, Montana 20. Out of the gate offensively, never really got it going. Anthony Johnson, the Grizzlies' leading scorer, splits the defense. Pull up from about eight. Back to Anthony Johnson. Easy buckets, and boy, in games like this, that is just gold easy baskets. Ten turnover differential between the two teams. Nifty play by Johnson. Anthony Johnson. And now, perhaps a breakout. Johnson, all the way, no good. Steals it right from Panos to lay it in. Well, that's a point off the turnover. And you see out the easiest point you'll ever get. Into what was a big margin, now getting a bit closer. That's why we do the V's keys. We know they're going to be good. How about Anthony Johnson to the basket? Nice move. Grizzlies feeling confident. This guy feeling confident. Gets the shooter's roll. And just at two, his foot was on the line. Here's the guy who's been feeling it, Anthony Johnson. You can tell he's still feeling it. What a crossover move, Anthony Johnson. A two-point game. Stars for you. Watch this move here. How's this for a crossover? Whoop. Between the legs, that's almost a three-pointer for the pull-up. Take a look. He actually pulls it back behind his right leg. That's another difference from the first half. Who got that ball in the first half? Yeah, some of it, just the luck of the bounce, but Johnson for three. Yes! This is an amazing performance. Only seven on the shot clock there, but two tough shots. I mean, this guy, Johnson, what a night! He's tied the all-time championship game record in the big sky. 34, it's a two-point Wildcats lead. Long odds on that. Amazing. Johnson step back. He's got the record. 36 for Anthony Johnson. And you know why that was so smart? If he goes to the basket, he risks a charge and he's done. Performances in the history of the Big Sky. Anthony Johnson has 36. Who knows how many more he'll get before this one's done. He points. He's only attempted 20 field goals. I mean, that is amazing. Here he comes off the screen. Let's see. They've got to get him a ball screen, I would think, unless they're just going to isolate. Here comes the screen. Well, they flared him. Gets it back on the left side. All the way. Good. Montana with the lead. Johnson's got 40. It's a new tournament record. Can't get either to go. So it's still a one-point game. Shot clock off. And Johnson's got the ball. If he doesn't shoot it, it will be the shot of the century. Session trying to harass him on defense. A foul sends him to the free throw line. 14 seconds. Johnson for the lead. He's got it. Unbelievable. Grizzlies are now 2.1 seconds away from going to the NCAA tournament. Selvig at the line for the second of two. He missed it on purpose. That's what I said. And the Wildcats can hardly even get a shot off. The celebration begins. Montana. What a second half. Down 20 at the break. They come all the way back.